head-to-head -head battle of recipes featuring one of Kentucky's favorites and one of my favorites, Burgoo. It's happening at Against the Grain. That's where Taylor Woods is this morning. And Taylor, have you had a chance to try the Burgoo yet? I know you said you never had it. I'm interested to know if you've had that opportunity. Oh, Haley, I tried it for the first time, and I have to say it was good. It was a little bit of heat and just all that we need, especially with it being cold outside. But anyway, things are stirring and brewing in the kitchen. I'm back again, and I'm here with Dennis and Kimberly. And Dennis, uh, what made you compete uh, in the annual Burgoo Cook-Off this year? Well, I found out about last year's event actually on the day of. My cousin messaged me, and he said, you should be competing in this thing. So that's how I learned about it. And when I saw that it, you know, it was happening again, I, I was like, I have to do this. And tell me, what's in, in this pot right here? So what I make is kind of an Owensboro Catholic style burgoo. Uh, in my version, it's got lamb and chicken in it and it will have vegetables like cabbage, onions, corn, um, potatoes, great Northern beans. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, spice it up with cayenne pepper, black pepper, and salt, and that's it. Mm, everything you need on a cold day like this. And I'm here with Kimberly. And tell me, how does it feel to be benefiting from this good cause? Oh, we're so excited to be partnering with Monk's Road and Against the Grain and all the wonderful chefs to support Apron Inc. Apron Inc. really does support the local restaurant community in their time of need. And it's through events like this that we really get that support. So we welcome everyone to come out on Saturday between 3 and 5. It's only $10. And you get to try Dennis's wonderful burgoo. Yeah, nice. Well, if you take a look at your screen, you can find all the details about the annual Burgoo Cook-Off tomorrow. And be sure to stick around because when we come back, we'll be talking how Apron Inc. will benefit from this.